With us this afternoon for this session is Rusty Austin from CA Technologies. And CA won <clears throat> for collaboration, the uh, Learning 100 Award, and uh, they won for their Mainframe Academy. Can you tell me a little bit about that Mainframe Academy, Rusty? Sure. Uh, Mainframe Academy is a program we put together for um, upcoming IT professionals who want to transition into the mainframe space. Um, we've noticed over the years that uh, mainframers are starting to retire and we've, there's actually a deficit in mainframe skills out there in the industry. And Mainframe Academy concentrates uh, what you can get in a two-year college program into a 12-week, hands-on, very intensive program, a uh, combination of instructor-led classroom, virtual instructor-led, uh, virtual lab, and a lot of self-paced work as well. What kind of students are you picking up? Um, you can get kids right out of college uh, or folks who have had some IT experience uh, but are looking to transition to something new. Um, everyone's looking for, for work and this is an area where there's a, there's a need for skill. Now CA Technologies, are you basically a, an educational company or an IT oriented company? What, do you, what does CA do? CA is a software company. Um, okay. We, are, um, we produce or develop, uh, we have a variety of line of products but primarily it's IT uh, management software. Uh, supporting the, the IT infrastructure. Okay. Um, where do you go from here as far as the mainframe academy? Uh, is, is it just in the beginning stages or? It, it's new. Uh, we piloted it in um, early to, or late 2010. Um, we've run a pilot in the United States and over in Europe. Um, very strong uh, reception so far, so we're looking to expand it. Uh, it does require instructors, so we have to develop a, a cadre of, of folks that can teach uh, this, this new skill or these skills, mainframe skills. Um, but yeah, we're definitely looking to expand it more because uh, there's, there's, there's a strong need. Half of CA's business comes from our, our, our mainframe products. Um, so we've seen firsthand the need for, the, for, for additional mainframe uh, employees. Now, <clears throat> with the mainframe academy, uh, does, that, does collaboration play a, a big role in, in implementing that? It does. Um, because of the audience we're going for, we're, we're looking for the younger generations to become mainframe programmers. Um, we actually issue the courseware on an iPad. Uh, so it's sort of a way to attract their attention, but also uh, as a green company, you don't have to print any manuals. They can just use the iPad for all their, their manuals. Also, they, the environment they're learning in is a collaborative environment where they can interact with uh, other students, with the instructor. They post their homework to this site. So it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a collaborative environment for the entire, that's managing the entire program. Is the whole culture of uh, CA, is that, is a collabor is, does collaborative play a big role in the, the company culture? It, it does. Um, our, our CLO uh, was sort of it's an insight that while many training organizations are sort of afraid of the informal learning uh, that's, that's sort of sweeping, you know, the, the industries. Uh, he, had, he embraced it, and we've, the learning organization has adopted um, the collaboration technologies that the company is implementing uh, as, as a learning program. Uh, and we're applying a formalized approach to informal learning, if that makes sense. Well, so, it, it would seem that being a, being a software company, you guys are probably on the, on the front edge of the technology, right? We are, and in fact, it's, it's hard to keep our programmers from trying their, own, their hand at developing some of their own tools. So, really? Yes. They've, they've actually developed some, some in-house tools that might, act, might at some point be built into some of our products. Very good. Um, what are some of the collaborative learning tools that you use beyond uh, the iPad? Um, in-house for our, our intranet, we're using uh, SharePoint um, uh -huh. for both... Um, pushing information out, but also for, for collaboration. Uh, folks have work sites where they can, they can work together to develop uh, deliverables for whatever their, you know, their, their day job is. We're also using that for um, communities, uh, in, in internal communities, and we have an external uh, set of communities as well that, that are focused around our products, so helping, allowing our customers to interact with our, uh, our developers uh, on technical subjects around our products. Um, and then we also have um, uh, what we call um, my sites, which are Facebook-like profiles uh, within SharePoint that individuals set up for themselves, um, and that, that's how they can share more about themselves with, with others in the company. Has recruiting for the Mainframe Academy been a, a problem? You know, it, w the way we've recruited is we've um, approached companies, and, and while Mainframe doesn't seem to be the wave of the future, all large companies use mainframes. I mean, they're, they're, there's, there's no fewer mainframes today than there was 10 years ago. If anything, there's more because they're the backbone of, of the computing power out there. Um, so we, 
to recruit for the mainframe academy, we just have to expose folks to this opportunity, expose companies that have you know, large mainframe uh, needs to this program, and they immediately see the value. And do those companies like partner with you for, for the, the training of the IT professionals? They do. I mean, a partnership in the sense that they they see the value in what we offer and they want to get involved and you know host classes for for their own employees or for either to transition some of their current employees into this new skill set or um, they'll do some recruiting for their of, of new employees that they'll then put through our program. And what kind of feedback have you been getting? Very positive. Um, we've only run a few per, a few uh, sessions so far. We have learned some lessons, um, but the the, the Feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. How many people have you run through the program so far? Do you know any? any I think it's about 30. 30? Yeah. Uh, any plans for expansion if everything works out? We're trying, absolutely. Um, we, we, you know, the, the demand is there, and uh, we intend to, to continue to grow it as long as we you know, see the business. And as you said, you've got managerial support for the program. Oh, absolutely. It was a big investment, but because we're in the mainstream space, we really saw the need. I mean, we had needs for ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. Our own mainframe programmers who are, who are managed, developing and maintaining our products we were watching them retire, and we weren't finding, uh, you know, the, the skill set available in the industry that easily. So we saw for ourselves we could take advantage of a program like this, and we knew we weren't the, the only ones in this in this situation. Rusty Austin, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations on uh, CA Technologies being named a uh, Learning 100 company. Thank you.